Hello fellow YouTubers, Mac in VR here, and welcome to the weekly news in VR. Today we'll be talking about Facebook perma-banning new Oculus Quest 2 users, Palmer Lucky wants to jailbreak Oculus Quest 2, sales of the rhythm action game Pistol Whip have increased tenfold, you're wearing your Oculus Quest 2 wrong, and I play Bioshock in VR. So let's get straight into it then, and remember, we're born to respawn. Before we dive into the news, the channel is enjoying exponential growth at the moment, and if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please drop a like on this video and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Today's news isn't all about Facebook, honest. But Facebook are caught in controversy again by perma-banning owners of the new Oculus Quest 2 headset who are trying to link their accounts so that they can use their shiny new device. Now honestly, you couldn't make this sh up. An article on Extreme Tech, which I have linked down below, has stated that users who are trying to sign up for a new Facebook account or trying to link their current accounts are receiving permanent bans from the platform. What's more, the automated ban tools that Facebook use are telling people that they cannot appeal the decision, basically turning their brand new shiny headset into an expensive paperweight. This consequently provoked a storm on Reddit and Twitter, with users posting up screenshots of the ban, which states categorically that this ban has been reviewed and cannot be reversed. To add insult to injury, no human being has been involved in the decision at all. It is all automated. This stunning act of arrogance has since been reviewed by Facebook and they have admitted that they may have made a mistake in a small number of cases and have asked users who have been banned to reach out. The Quest 2 is a great piece of kit. I've had mine for a week now and I love it. It's a real game changer for VR acceptance into the mainstream, cheap enough for an impulse purchase and great for demonstrating what can be done with a standalone head mounted display. If Facebook carry on like this, they are going to alienate the early adopters, the geeks like me, and people who are tech savvy but also dislike Facebook's flagrant disregard for your privacy, which in turn becomes negative press. It's like they're deliberately trying to shoot themselves in the foot. I just f***ing shot myself. It's laughable really, but not funny at all for the people who bought into the Oculus ecosystem and are now unable to use a consumer electronic device due to a computer decision. So imagine this, you've just bought a shiny new flat screen TV, state of the art, smart television with a screen you could see from the moon. You boot it up, connect to the internet, do the automatic updates, then sign into your Sony account. Wait, I don't have a Sony account, I'll just skip this bit. TV bricked. Can you imagine that? Oh. And you still can't buy an Oculus product in Germany due to strict privacy laws. In a freakish link story, Palmer Lucky has pledged $5,000 to anybody who can jailbreak the new Oculus Quest 2. Lucky, who co-founded Oculus, sold the business to Facebook in 2014 for $2 billion and then got sacked under a cloud of controversy in 2017, but not for his political beliefs because that would be illegal Facebook, wouldn't it? Anyway, Palmer has thrown his hat into the ring and backed Mozilla software engineer Robert Long in his bid to break Facebook's anti-competition, anti-privacy ecosystem. The goal is to be able to use the Oculus Quest 2 as an Android device, allowing users to remove the need for a Facebook account, alter the Oculus Home app, and allow for unofficial stores like SideQuest. Coincidentally, Lucky has been heavily involved in the SideQuest project and Revive, which allows you to play Oculus exclusives on other Steam VR headsets. Could this zeal to crack the code come from being lied to when he worked for Facebook? On multiple occasions, Palmer was told that the need for a Facebook account would never be compulsory on an Oculus product. And the dust bastard believed them. <coughs> Sorry. So is this a case of sour grapes or it is revenge for broken promises? It's time for Anorak Corner featuring Malcolm. Did you know that Palmer Lucky and his girlfriend, Nicole Edelman, oh, met due to their love of video gaming and cosplay. Even I'm offended by that photograph. 
In much more uplifting news, Denny Unger, CEO of Cloudhead Games, has stated that sales of Pistol Whip increased tenfold since the launch of the Oculus Quest 2 on the 13th of October. Now, I'm over the moon about this because Pistol Whip is my favourite rhythm action game, and I hope the developers are making a ton of cash off the back of this. Other VR developers are also seeing spikes in sales. Fast Travel's Andreas Julison has stated that sales of their two games, Apex Construct and The Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets, have seen an 800% increase on launch day. Wow! Did you pick up a Quest 2 on launch day? Have you had any problems I've talked about today? What games have you bought for the new headset? Get involved and comment down below. And now it's time for Noob of the Week! In other news, did you know you're wearing your Oculus Quest 2 head strap wrong? Without forking out $50 for the Elite strap, I would recommend loosening the head strap and placing it on this part of your head. You will notice that I've deliberately gone bald to help you see better strap placement. That's the kind of person I am. Tighten the Velcro, now put the hard plastic arms in this position. That should ease some of the front heaviness of the Quest 2 and make your Quest more pleasant to wear. Any thanks can be written on the back of a £10 note and sent to the usual address. And our final news story today, a talented modder has recreated Bioshock's iconic underwater city Rapture using the Half-Life Alex mod tools. The experience is about 25 minutes long and there's a fusion of the two storylines, imagining that Alex herself has crashed landed into the abandoned underwater city. I must say I had a lot of fun in this amazing recreation, but the mod, I'm not going to try and pronounce his name so I'll put it on the screen, has stated that he is unsure if there will be a second chapter unless he gets support on Patreon. Would you pay to play Bioshock in VR using the Half-Life Alex mod tools? Tell me your thoughts down below. Well, that's all for today. Feel free to share, like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.